This is SAT test 3, non-calculator question number 18. College Board gives us a diagram with triangles and tells us that these two triangles are isosceles as indicated and gives us an equation relating z and y and the value for y and they ask for the value of x. So in their equation, 180 minus z equals 2y, so that's twice 75. 180 minus z equals 150. Subtract 150 from both sides and you get 30 minus z equals 0, so z equals 30. Then in this triangle, since two sides are equal, the opposite angles are also equal. Since z equals 30, let's call this angle W. Since z equals 30, z plus 2w equals 180, and z equals 30, 30 plus 2w equals 180, subtract 30 from both sides, and 2w equals 150, w equals 75 if I divide both sides by 2. w plus 2x makes up a straight angle, they're supplementary, so 75 plus x equals 180 because supplementary angles add up to 180, subtract 75 and x equals 105. And they are asking for the value of x, so that would be my answer. College Board almost always asks about triangles and they will often ask either similar triangles or isosceles triangles or both at some point in the test. In this case, we're using the fact that if two sides are equal, the opposite angles are also equal. We're also using the fact that a triangle has angles adding up to 180, and that supplementary angles, or angles that add up to a straight angle, add up to 180. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.